how to make content for SEO that ranks in Google. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can build content that is going to rank in Google and that is going to satisfy the search engines with your article, blog, or whatever you are writing. So let's get into it. Now, content is available everywhere on the internet now and the demand for content is surging. And with information accessible to everyone everywhere, there is a lot of content out there that is not going to get a lot of clicks and you need to optimize your content for SEO, which is search engine optimization for your content to be able to reach the people that you are wanting to reach. So if you're someone that is writing something, then you need to make sure to watch this video to better understand how to get your content ranked better on any kind of search engine, especially Google. Now, one of the most important things for any content, like if I'm writing on medium.com or if I'm writing for my own website, is to get more traffic to the website. That is one of the basic purposes of content. And the second thing is that the content should engage those people so they will turn into a customer or be pushed further down into the sales funnel. So you need to keep these two objectives in mind whenever you are writing content. So these articles that are on these platforms are here to either get you into purchasing an item or for you to be able to view their adverts so they can get in revenue or something else. So the first thing is to write about topics that are actually searched about. So if you go onto Google Analytics and you see that you're not getting any engagement or any views on your content, it might be that you're choosing topics that are not being searched about. For that, a simple trick is to open up Google and search for Google Trends. Go on to Google Trends, which is trends.google.com, and over here you can see a geographical distribution of any search word or term that you're into. So let's say that you wanted to write about sunglasses. So if you search for this specific term, sunglasses, you can choose where you want to search for. So let's say we want to optimize worldwide. And now you can see the trend of this item. You can see the search volume of this as well. And that is what you need to keep in mind when you are writing articles or anything that you, whatever the gist or the topic of your article or writing piece or blog, whatever it might be is, needs to be something that has a upward slope because you want to be writing about something that is being searched for. So search for any topic or item that is being searched for. You can use Google Trends. There is also abundance of tools out there. You have the AF tool. You also have a lot of other things that you can use. You can use keywords to see whether or not a topic is being searched about. Now, after that, you need to contain a sales funnel. So whenever you're trying to promote an article or any kind of writing, you need to make sure that you are systemizing and automizing exciting things within that article. So first off, after publishing, you need to promote on social media. You can go on to Twitter, so on Twitter, I have talked about NFT strategies, so you can go on ahead and post the article, be like, hey, I've dropped a new article, whatever you might want, you can add that over here. Social media is a effective way to get your content out there. Then you can boot do a emailing uh, marketing campaign. So for that, you can use MailChimp. So MailChimp is a super powerful tool as well. MailChimp is for email marketing. You can take all of the emails that you have, all the leads, potential leads that you have from your website and start sending them emails as a reminder or not as a reminder, but like, hey, we have this new article check this out or you were previously interested in this topic and we have posted this about it so go on ahead and check that out and that is also going to give you a very good spike in traffic and if you do spend on ads then definitely go check out google ads which are going to be the most helpful in terms of getting more spikes and getting more views into your article so this is going to give you some short-term traffic however it is going to flatline soon after if you're just using adverts as a free form of engagement so 
for the kind of topics that you are writing on, you need to use keyword research because even if you're paying ads and you have paid ads that are running your article in the adverts, people are going to click on it. But soon after, when the topic has dulled down, it is not going to be as interesting to the communities and people will not click on it. So for that, go on to Google and search for keyword tool and go on to keywordtool.io, which is a amazing keyword researcher. So the reason for that is because you can identify the search demand and understand the traffic potential of a topic which is the total amount of monthly research that a topic is getting so you could be a part of that topic and when people will research that topic your website or your blog link will also be there and that is one of the most effective ways to make sure that your article is seo optimized so you can also go on ahead and check out other keyword tool researchers let's just take the example and let's search for skincare so let's say I had a couple of different topics in my mind and skincare is maybe one of them. So I can actually see the search volume and this is the search volume for a specific word per month. And you can see the search volume is pretty high for skincare, tropic skincare, Tula skincare, skincare routine. And you can find a lot of other free keyword tools as well as subscribe to the pro versions of these. They are only a couple of dollars and will help you in abundance in terms of optimizing for your SEO. So make sure that you have a high search volume. So maybe I had two topics that I was going to write about. Either it was going to be skincare care which has around 2 million 2 million in 2 million in search volume and maybe the second topic that i was going to write about was uh sunglasses so i'm just going to search for sunglasses over here and now you can see over here that sunglasses is also a pretty high ranking keyword and you can go on ahead and subscribe to the pro version you can even get a trial version for keywords as well and you can search for different search engines as well other than just google on any of these keyword tools so if you want to rank for a target topic then you need to know the type of content that google will rank for that query so let's say i want to write an article on sunglasses now what a effective way to do that is going to be is to go on open google and search sunglasses to see what kind of content ranks best so I wanted to write a blog post about sunglasses, but you can see that the top results are actually shopping links. So what I would do is that instead of writing a basic article, I would actually add a link to buy the item or add a add to cart option for that specific blog as well. And that is going to make sure that you are able to engage customers onto the blog link or onto that link as well. And that is going to be a effective way to rank better in SEO. Uh, to better the SEO of your article by searching on what is already ranking better. So uh, you can also go on ahead, let's say that you are going to write a recipe book. So let's say you are going to post a recipe, then for that what I actually recommend is that you go on to Google and search for a recipe. So just search for a recipe and you will see this format is the most popular on Google. The reason for that is because Google can actually take the ratings. So make sure you have a rating bar. You have a recipe bar where only the basic recipe is summarized. So the ingredients are summarized and the steps are summarized and the overall nutritional information is summarized because Google loves to show these kinds of results on this kind of query. So that is why it is so essential to make sure that you are researching your competitors as well as optimizing for SEO. So you also need to add these keywords. So whatever keywords you find on Keyword Tool or Google Trends, if you scroll down on Google Trends, you're going to get related queries and related topics. You can actually go on ahead and use those related queries as your keyword and add them onto your article, blog, or whatever you're writing. But don't try to smother them all in. Just add a couple where they are suitable and you will be good to go so so if you are following these tips adding the appropriate keywords adding them to the article adding those keywords to the actual title and also making sure that the topic is on trend and promoting on social media as well as email marketing i'm pretty sure that you can get a very good google ranking that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video